Hello. Well, it's uh, been a while since you've heard from me. Um, you're probably wondering what's going on. <laughs> well, um, a few things. So, um, about four weeks ago, I had to have uh, an elective operation. So, I was out of running for about a week and a half because of that. Um, and then, shortly afterwards, I was supposed to be doing the Colchester Orbital last weekend or the weekend before. Uh, no, weekend before last. And um, basically, I wasn't very well at all. I had uh, some massive cysts come up under my arms, and they were really infected and really painful. And obviously, I couldn't run at all. I could barely walk. So that sucked. Um, but the good news is, I'm back running again. I went for a run. So today is Wednesday. I went for a run yesterday, Tuesday. Um, today is normally my rest day anyway, but then I'm going to be back on it again. Um, tomorrow and I'm hoping to be able to run the Colchester Orbital still um, virtually so I will just I've got a copy of the route so I would just do the route by myself um, and I will still get my medal completely sucks though because I really want to run it with my running club um, we're in a nice little group of people a couple more I know already <sighs> sucks but such is life um, you know the main it was really frustrating because I think I'd done sort of like a 12 mile run um like the tuesday before the orbital so i was well up for it i was you know really well prepared uh feeling really good about it and then that happened which really pissed me off but <coughs> oh, excuse me um is what it is eh? these things happen um in some ways it's almost more frustrating being ill than being injured um, because illness just seems like a real bad luck because it's not even related to running, you know, but hey ho. There we go. Um, so yeah, so hopefully probably Friday I'm going to do the orbital run by myself. That should be good. Um, so there's like an app you can download that, that basically it kind of goes through the route audibly with you and guides you through. Um, so that'd be good. Um, but no, I'm still going for it. I'm still definitely one on the running train it's just unfortunately surgery and illness has um messed things up a bit but uh the good thing is my fitness doesn't seem to have massively been impacted i went for a run on my run yesterday and i i just quite didn't do sub 30 for a 5k which is is pretty good so i'm quite happy with that um so we shall see um probably wondering why i'm doing this in the car well to be honest with you i've got 10 minutes spare um before I picked my son up from school and felt like a good time to give you an update really because it's just been totally manic recently such is life um but yeah there we go so the other good thing is um obviously here in the UK the restrictions are going to be lifting um next week so the uh London Vitality Big Half should be set to go ahead um yeah like as per a normal race not that I know what a normal race is like because I've never entered a race before um, so I'm really really looking forward to that now that's going to be awesome um, but that's it so I hope you guys are all keeping well um, those of you who are running are still running and doing well um, and yeah if you've got any ideas for further videos let me know I was wondering about going doing one going through my kit soon just detailing a few things because I've, I've picked up quite a few bits and bobs of kit um, uh, of, of some recommendations of people and stuff uh, and YouTube videos so I can link to them as well so let me know if that would be of interest to you cheers everyone bye <laughs>